Hollywood superstar Tom Hanks has been to Eisenhüttenstadt twice. He says he's a fan of former communist Germany's model city. The last time he was here, he bought a trabi, an experience in Eastern comfort. Ah. Ah. It all worked. Eisenhüttenstadt is thriving 25 years after the fall of the wall, at least at first glance. The city center has been fully renovated. The city's biggest employer is now in private hands. Some new factories have even opened up. Unemployment hovers around 9%, a low number for eastern Germany. People living in Eisenhüttenstadt are used to living in an industrial city. People are fine working at all times of the day. We have great kindergartens and great schools. But it hasn't been easy. The city still relies heavily on steel production. In 1990, an international concern bought the city's old steel plant. That saved around 5,000 jobs. In 1997, former Chancellor Helmut Kohl declared steel production a national priority. His government went on to invest 300 million euros into Eisenhüttenstadt's city works. That was really important because it was a really big project, especially this rolling mill here. It was also necessary to upgrade gaps in technology in Eisenhüttenstadt. If we didn't have this rolling mill, we wouldn't be working here today. We just couldn't compete. Competition with other cities is a big topic in Schwedt. The city has just come out of a difficult period. 25% of working age people were once unemployed. That number has now dropped to around 16 or 17%. Roland Barknecht is a local ice cream vendor. He was born and raised in Schwedt. His ice cream shop doesn't attract enough customers. It only gets crowded on hot days, like today. I'd say about 85% of the young people have left. My boys left too. I don't know what's going to become of this place. They've done a lot. Like build this pier here. Beautiful. But what's missing are the jobs. Schwedt was another model industrial city in communist East Germany. Its largest employer, the petrochemicals company PCK. Schwedt was a boom town back in the 60s, but after reunification, the city's businesses couldn't compete. Thousands of jobs were cut. Young people left, old people stayed. Politicians didn't know how to respond. For decades, the city shrank. Entire housing blocks stand empty. No one knows what the future holds. We're planning now up to 2025. We hope, of course, that we can turn things around. Eisenhüttenstadt has also struggled with people leaving the city for better opportunities elsewhere. 50,000 people used to live in Eisenhüttenstadt. Today, it's not even 30,000. Buildings stand empty along the outskirts of the city. Those who can't find a job in the city have no choice but to search elsewhere. Older residents remain behind. Who wants to live in a city that has so little to offer? When I've been gone for a while and come back, sometimes I count the number of people who are under 50 or 60, and there aren't that many. For all its losses, Eisenhüttenstadt has been able to attract a number of new businesses to the city. That's something Schwedt can only dream about. Just like before, everything revolves around the old petrochemicals company, PCK. Still, not even PCK is secure nor is friendship. Drushba is the Russian word for friendship, and that's the name of the oil pipeline that runs from Siberia through Ukraine to Schwedt. No wonder people here are closely following the Ukraine conflict. EU sanctions against Russia hang like a sword of Damocles over the city, and that's not the only problem. We have really big disadvantages compared to, for example, North Rhine-Westphalia, because we don't have any other industrial clients. Schwedt doesn't have enough industrial opportunity and it lacks proper educational facilities. A large sport and cultural center aren't enough to keep people from leaving the city. It's dead quiet in the town center. Young people have left in droves for bigger cities in the west. A sculpture on the riverbank mirrors the city's troubled hopes for the future.
The younger generation, the girls, they don't want to become bakers or sales clerks or hairdressers. They want to study. They want to do things like IT. They want more than this city has to offer. Two different cities on two different paths. But they share the same problem. German politicians have failed to ensure a sustainable future for the city's residents. If the old industrial plants have to close, it will mean the end for both Schwedt and Eisenhüttenstadt.